have um, as I examine what the CCP is doing internally to its own people and certainly the horrors that we're seeing in the Xinjiang autonomous region uh, is whether this is just a mechanism for internal control and total party control or to what extent they are perfecting a model that could be exported to other countries. Yeah, so uh, it is, uh, I've just been fascinated um, by this research. Uh, it's first of all about uh, really domestic security. We see that the spending uh, of the, the PRC on domestic security is even larger than on, on their military. So that's really their highest priority to stay in power. And they have been perfecting it um, over the years. It's a almost a scientific and algorithmic governance that they have um, started um, imposing. And it's uh, chilling because even when there's the smallest uprising or the smallest um, dissent, they, they would know immediately. And uh, technological capabilities have um, enable them to do so. We have much higher processing power today. Um, you know, um, there's um, systems today that can process, uh, scan 100 million faces uh, in a matter of 10 seconds, or um, hours of video footage in just minutes. And so that really empowers the party and will uh, likely increase the, increase the likelihood for them to stay and perpetuate um, their rule, because it's just um, becoming really, um, it's also saving them costs. Um, if you have AI process um, massive, massive amounts of data, you don't need so many people to, to um, review the, the footage. Um, and that's kind of saving the cost as well for, for the surveillance state. But looking abroad, it's also quite chilling because we see um, Chinese surveillance equipment in basically every country, smallest to the largest. Uh, we have uh, um, Huawei Safe Cities, which is their branded name, um, Safe Cities, uh, in, in Nairobi, and in, uh, then we have it in, um, in um, Uganda, um, all across the world. And we can really see also a strong industry within China. The company is pushing it out because they want to make money right, from surveillance products, and so they're pushing it out into the world. Um, and where is that leading us? Um, I think it really becomes worrying when, um, because um, uh, the CCP is propping up friendly regimes with the surveillance equipment abroad. We've recently seen that in Afghanistan, where Huawei is um, extending and building the um, CCTV network uh, within um, Afghan cities, mm. and is thereby really propping up the Taliban regime there. Um, and something similar is happening in a variety of um